NASA was embarrassed by SpaceX cutting edge spacesuit. On June 13th, 584 people had already touched space and each of them shared a spacesuit with the other astronauts. Our heads have been completely blown by a new spacesuit concept from Elon Musk's SpaceX. SpaceX spacesuit openly mocks and belittles every spacesuit produced by NASA. So how far has NASA tumbled struggling to do its job? Welcome to our channel, guys. In today's video, we'll discuss Elon Musk's new spacesuit that has stunned everybody. Before that, do subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Until recently, the only function of spacesuits was to protect astronauts from fire, sudden depressurization, or other unforeseeable disasters. As space opens up for tourists and not just scientific study, the design of spacesuits is beginning to shift. A spacesuit is comparable to a miniature spaceship. Not only do astronauts wear certain attire in space, despite being considered a space fashion, each component of the spacesuit is designed specifically to safeguard the person wearing it. The chest and arms are covered by several parts of the suit, while the helmet protects the head. Another component of the suit also covers the legs and feet. Every spacesuit is made up of many layers with distinct functions. While certain layers are meant to guard against space dust, others are there to retain oxygen in the suit. A piece of clothing that covers every part of the body except the head, hands, and feet is worn underneath the suit by astronauts. This piece of clothing has tubes sewn into it that allow water to flow through, keeping the astronauts cool. You have a bag attached to the rear of the spacesuit. The oxygen needed by astronauts is stored in this backpack. In addition, it manages the astronauts' exhaled carbon dioxide. The backpack has a water tank for the cooling water, a fan to assist oxygen circulation with the suit, and energy to power it all. The safer tool is a feature of spacesuits, such as in the movies. This gadget features a number of tiny thruster jets. The safer can be used to return an astronaut to the space station if he or she drifts away from it. Astronauts don't get too hot or chilly because of it. When they must do their tasks in the airless expanse of space, it serves as a lifeline that keeps them breathing. Astronauts are protected from space dust by every spacesuit. To assist shielding the astronauts' eyes from direct sunlight, some versions incorporate unique gold-lined visors. Over time, spacesuits have undergone several design changes. From 1961 until 1963, the first seven astronauts of NASA wore the Mercury spacesuit. It was known as the Mercury 7. The U.S. Navy pilots let us use their Mercury Mark IV suits. It resembles the clothing used on high-altitude flights quite a bit. In order to increase heat management and improve finger control, NASA modified the suit by adding an aluminum-coated nylon outer shell. To achieve a tighter fit, new straps and zippers were also used. This outfit, which was utilized during the Mercury era, was hailed as the ideal example of a spacesuit. 1965 to 1966, the Gemini suit. Space exploration became possible thanks to the Gemini spacesuit. It represented the first spacewalk effort made by NASA. The Gemini mission represented NASA's space program with greater aspirations. The David Clark Company created the Gemini outfit. Since they could be attached to a portable air conditioner to keep astronauts cool until they could connect to the spacecraft's lines, extra effort was made to make them more comfortable than the Mercury suits. The G4C version of the Gemini suit is the one used during spacewalks. Astronauts might leave the security of their spaceship with this suit, which was created with spacewalking in mind. To provide astronauts with oxygen and keep them alive, the suit is attached to the ship through a hose. The suit provides backup life support for up to 30 minutes if the astronaut becomes detached. In 1967 to 1975, Apollo spacewalk suit. Man stepped onto the moon while wearing an Apollo spacesuit. It was not easy to set foot on the moon. More protection was required for astronauts than the Gemini or Mercury suits could provide. Fine regolith, a dust that is as sharp as glass, was to be avoided by the first humans to set foot on the moon. They also needed defense against the erratic temperature changes from the sun to the shade. In order for the astronauts to install equipment, pick up moon rocks, and survive for hours outside of the ship, the suit also needed to be flexible. That all happened during the Apollo spacewalk. On Earth, it weighed 180 pounds and had a lot of equipment, but on the moon, it was six times lighter. Space Shuttle Flight Suit, 1988 to 2011. The pumpkin suit is another name for the spacesuit. All members of the space shuttle crew wore it. The original variant was superseded by the more modern ACES, Advanced Crew Escape Suit. The Worcester, Massachusetts-based David Clark Company produced it. It was impossible to prevent design gaps like the enormous shin pockets because the suit's main goal was to keep astronauts alive. Parachutes, life preservers, and even survival drinking packs are integrated into this outfit. Spacesuits from SpaceX Don Hurley and Bob Behnken 
two NASA astronauts, were the first people to put on SpaceX spacesuit while they were in orbit. The most modern spacesuits we have ever seen is the result of much effort on the part of SpaceX. SpaceX's all-white design is an upgrade above NASA's vintage pumpkin suit for its space shuttle missions for Behnken and Hurley. For the Crew Dragon Demo 2 test voyage to the International Space Station, Elon Musk's SpaceX made use of its brand new spacesuit. Behnken and Hurley were able to return to Earth's orbit in a perfect launch from Florida on May 30, 2020, even though the space shuttle program had terminated in 2011. The SpaceX spacesuit is not only visually appealing and would look amazing in a sci-fi film, but it is also incredibly practical. The astronauts are shielded by SpaceX spacesuit against a rapid loss of pressure within the spaceship. The astronauts are safeguarded in case of a fire because of the fireproof material used in the construction. The gloves on the suit were made to operate the touchscreens on Crew Dragon's ship. To do tasks within the spaceship, the astronauts wouldn't need to take off any of the suit's components. The helmet shields the astronauts from harm, but it also keeps oxygen inside, houses the communications equipment, and has valves that maintain the suit comfortably and effectively. Each usage was a priority in the development and design of the spacesuit. The spaceship can supply the suits with chilled air and oxygen by plugging them in to the seat's umbilicals. Before NASA astronauts wore it, SpaceX suit was tested in orbit. The Tesla dummy that traveled to Mars in 2018 on a Tesla Roadster was outfitted with a variation of this spacesuit. Ripley, a dummy, traveled aboard the unmanned SpaceX Crew Dragon Demo-1 test voyage to the space station in 2019 wearing the identical spacesuit. Since the new breed of spacecraft produces a new species of spacesuits, NASA's pumpkin suits are now out of date. In comparison to Create Anything by NASA, SpaceX's suit is a far sleeker, one-piece white design. Musk had to personally convince people that the spacesuit actually worked since its design is so slick and stylish. The iconic Hollywood costume designer Jose Fernandez, who also created the costumes for blockbuster films like Wonder Woman, Batman vs. Superman, Captain America Civil War, and Wolverine, created SpaceX's spacesuit. He is the cause of the suit's appearance as if it were designed for a movie set. With their spacesuits, SpaceX has reached back and pulled ahead, employing vintage aesthetics to create something original, as opposed to limiting what NASA has done. According to Bob Behnken, SpaceX's spacesuit is more useful than NASA's pumpkin suit. To keep its rivals on their toes, SpaceX maintains the majority of the suit's technical components a secret. The suits are designed to work in tandem with the computer screens that astronauts would use to monitor the Dragon's systems and maneuvers in orbit, space, or the International Space Station, according to the privately owned space exploration business led by Elon Musk. NASA acknowledges that SpaceX's spacesuit is made to be practical, lightweight, and to provide protection from any depressurization, so it does not perceive any flaws in it. NASA is determined to abandon the pumpkin suit in the dust and create its own cutting-edge spacesuit after being embarrassed by SpaceX. However, the creation of these spacesuits would be left to the private sector. So what do you think about SpaceX's spacesuit? Let us know in the comment section below. And while you do that, don't forget to give us a like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.